Hello viewers, today in this video we will learn how we can save a file on desired location based on cell values. As you all can see, we have item and price list given and we have created a save file button. When we click this button, a file with the desired file extension will be created and will be saved at the file location given in the code. So let's go to the code window. Under developers tab, click on view code. And here we are in the code window. As you all can see, we have defined two variables as string. First one is path variable to define the path where we want to save the file. In the second variable, file name, we have to get the name of the file that is to be saved using the range function of Excel. As you can see, we have defined it as range.txt and range b1.txt a1 and b1 and after that we have turned off any application alerts by doing application dot display alerts is equal to false this will prevent excel to show any extra application alerts in the last we have to save the file for that we have defined active workbook dot save as and then file name colon is equal to and then path variable the path is concatenated with the file name and the file extension is dot xlsx and after that we have defined the file format which is to be excel open dot xml workbook and after that Either you can quit the application as I did or you can quit the Excel sheet. It's upon you. So now let's go back to our Excel sheet and see the save file function in action. So when I click the save file button, the file is saved as you can see at the desired location which was g colon demo and named as item price dot xlsx as we have designed and now we will open the file to see whether it is the same file or not as you all can see we have the same file but this file is not a macro file, it is a Excel file. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.